Hello, today I'll be breaking down some of the more technical components to long and triple jump. My reason for doing this is because when I was in high school, I would look up stuff online to try and figure out what I needed to fix. And a lot of the times that meant just watching pro jumpers. Um, that's not a very relatable example though for most people in high school. So hopefully since I have a lot of issues in my triple jump, this will be something that's more relatable. So I can really emphasize the major things that you need to change and not every little nitpick that might not help too much. This past Saturday, I went to the track and did some long and triple jump, and here's the footage from that. So we're going to slow this down and see what I did wrong in the long. Right off the bat here, you can see there's an issue with my arms. They're not very aggressive at all. They're sort of crossing my body. It's just not good. As I get closer to the board, it gets even less aggressive. Make sure to be more powerful than I was here with your arms, uh, just like if you're running the 100. I would say the approach is by far the most important part of long jump and how much speed you can generate is the biggest determinant in how far you will go. So make sure you're striding fully. As you can see here, I'm cutting my stride short as I get to the board, which kills my speed. So don't do that. As you can tell, I'm a hitch kick jumper. So as I'm getting to the board, both of my knees come up, but not all the way. They don't really get to that 90, so make sure that you're getting it all the way up, getting the most out of your knee drive. Another thing I notice is that I don't really get to pike, so instead of getting my legs up all the way, they just kind of hang out there and fall down a little bit, so make sure you're keeping your legs up and straight. My stride is bad again here, however, the penultimate step is actually pretty good. Your second to last step should be long and the last step should be short and quick. The idea is that if you lower your center of gravity, once you get to the board, you can then slingshot it upwards. This is the one time it's good to not have an equal stride. First knee is pretty good. Second knee is awful. I don't get really any knee drive at all. I also did not get to pike in time. Um, so sometimes even if you get really good hang time, like I had decent hang time here, but boom, I only there get to pike, so I don't have that second to get myself in a good position before landing. I kind of just do it. I also didn't pull my hips through before pike, but that's something we'll talk about another day. Now on to triple. Again, we have the issue just like in long jump where it's a very inconsistent run up, but I've already covered that. The big thing here is arms. As you can see right here, my arms are very passive. It should be a lot more aggressive. Arms are everything. They help you balance. They help you bring your core through it. So make sure to be very aggressive with that arm action. Now onto the fun part with the phases. Uh, as you can see here, decent first phase, but I get through it a little quicker than I should. Uh, my arms aren't quite all the way back evenly. And here I'm clearly off balance. Like my body's diagonal it's sideways and that's not good um, but once I get to the third phase then my chest starts coming down a little early so I probably could have gotten more out of it um, again same thing as long jump get to pike land like you normally would now for this next jump I'm not going to talk about the run up I have the exact same issues inconsistent not using good arms but uh, we're going to talk about the phases still so through the first phase actually pretty good. I might get a little high, but my arms aren't even again, so I really can't use my right arm that much. Um, come up for the second, my knee should have stayed up there more. I didn't get quite good enough knee drive on that second phase. And then my last phase, which is normally my best, bringing the chest down again. Um, although I do get to pike and do a pretty good job of landing there. This next jump was probably my best from the whole day. Uh, not going to talk about anything with run-up since we've already covered that, but we will talk about phases here. Now, I slow down the rotation of the first phase here. So my left leg normally rotates much quicker than that. And then it's like I'm coming to the ground and trying to stay on the ground. Obviously, we want to be on the air as long as possible. So if I'm coming to the ground early, I'm just cutting that phase short. So with the left uh, leg on the first phase, I just make sure to slow down that rotation. And that was the difference maker here. This made a huge difference with the jump because the first phase is the most important. I mean, if you lose speed on the first phase, then you got two more phases where you're not moving quick. But um, right here, still off balance a little bit, but I do a decent enough job getting my knee up and spending time in the air. And then we come to another not very good landing. My body's kind of facing forward, shoulders over, toes the whole time. So I would definitely fix that. I just wanted to go over those four jumps today, so that's really all for this video. I hope someone's able to take something from it, so let me know if you are able to get any type of benefit from it. Also, I am by no means an expert at this, so if you have any advice, I'm always happy to learn. I'm happy to learn more about it. I'm not going to be closed-minded and think that my thing is the best. These are just my opinions, basically, on what I should have done. So, thanks for watching. Hopefully, this helps someone. See ya.